Welcome back to the 5 Minute Podcast, where we value your time and respect it too. Today, we're discussing education. Education. Something that every human being must do at some point in their life for a prolonged period of time. And right off the bat, I, I believe that education comes in all forms. It can you be know? both, yeah, in the classroom, outside, personal, or instruction, or given as instruction, you know. Yeah. And education, oftentimes, we think about it as the classroom, but, wow, that's a loud train. It's a good thing that <laughs> I think you can hear us over the train. I hope so. And everything going on around us. Um, many things that I've learned were not in a classroom. It's true. In fact, if I may be so blunt, as, as an educator myself, I firmly believe that the U.S. education system needs a reform. It needs a collapse. A collapse? Yes. What, what might this reformed collapse look like to you? I think, I think the U.S. In, in a lot of places has become very soft and has lowered standards for, for children. You don't wanna do your grade or your work, you wanna get an F, that's fine. You get to go on to the next grade regardless. Oh. Yeah, it's really lowered the stakes as far as education requirements go. I feel like that sets a bad precedence for work ethic as well, more than just education it just would also create in turn weaker future contributing members of society exactly for example um, in if you go to you know classrooms in China I have a co-worker who um, spent some time there and told us this story is you go to a, a classroom in China and you forget to come to school prepared with like so let's say a pencil right? Something basic. In the U.S., we just go, oh, okay, no big deal. Here's a pencil. Over there, you are, like, publicly shamed for not having oh. a pencil. Like, to the extent of how are you forgetting the basic necessity to do the most basic function of school? Like, you should be embarrassed. Right. And that level of, like, rigor, I mean, you're going to have this gap eventually where other countries are going to be up here and because we just care about how they feel, we're gonna drop. Right. Yeah, with no consequences, there's no reason to be on your A game, so to speak. So, in light of that, what would you respond to someone that says that perhaps that is taking it too far, that it is being unnecessarily rude or? I think it goes into what you mentioned is finding a lot of education on your own. Like, get passionate about something. Like, you don't need to go to college for everything. Find something you're passionate about, learn it on your own, and that's gonna be more valuable to you, I think. I think that's a good way to phrase it. Just find passion. Cause, yeah, if, if you are constantly being given a pencil when you forget it, you are stuck in that class that maybe you're not even interested in. Right, exactly. And maybe you would be more prepared if you found something that you were interested in. And I can see, to your point, that the education system needs to be reformed and maybe not require so many classes. There are some classes that are required to build a society that can function together. Mm -hmm. Like basic language skills yeah, would be one of them. I still but, think math is necessary. But examining William Shakespeare might not be an integral part of shaping our society in the no. modern times. And, you know, I, I teach English, and I would agree with that. Why are we spending five years on The Giver or To Kill a Mockingbird? Like, just... I hate that book. I'm sorry. Right. I, th I think that's understandable. Um... <laughs> But thank you for watching this five-minute podcast, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.